Hello everyone, this is TJ Snemon and today we're gonna do the uh, finishing on that pendant that we drew. This is the uh, tutorial on ProtoWizard where we generate the toolpaths. Um, let's start uh, by importing our drawing. Um, file new. Um, the method we pick is a uh, it's a f double sided flip so we're going to do one side flip it over and, and um, carve the other side <coughs> so this is the uh, the method right here we go to part select our file open that so here's our uh, our model and uh, it takes a little while to get it rotated okay now what we're going to do uh, right now it's just our model. We're going to have to add supports from the model outwards. Uh, so when the tool bit is cutting this piece, it doesn't fall through the opening. So we're going to have to support it with some kind of spokes just like we do with the rings. So we're going to go insert supports and it's going to rotate it again. And then our menu will come up. Okay, this is our support menu. Uh, menu. We are going to import. Um, let's go up to uh, Drive C Proto Wizard 4 support pins, and we will use a 1 by 1, 1.5 by 2.5 by 5. Open. <coughs> okay, now as you can't really see it right now, but oh, there's a little piece sticking out. So there's our support pin. So I'm going to take this spin. Let's just exit this menu. Um, insert support. Sometimes this program is a little funky. Okay, so let's try. There we go. Edit supports. <coughs> Let me scoot this up again takes a little while it's going it's processing a lot of information right now okay support one now I turn red so now let's move our support let me angle this a little better so we can see <coughs> okay we're gonna start by moving um, moving it let's put this one actually right here in the middle where our bait is gonna be so we're gonna start uh, location we're gonna move it in let's say two millimeter in intervals and we are going in the X direction. So X, every time you hit the X button, it moves it out. And now we're going out in the Y direction. Y plus, 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 plus. One more, one more. Almost there. Because I wanted to attach right to the top of my bale. We're going up with Z, 2 millimeter. Let's uh, orient this a little better. I want it right there in the middle. Okay, let's do our uh, interval a little smaller on one millimeter. So we go up with Z one millimeter right there, and let's look at our top view. Let's go out on the Y plus one, one. Oop, sorry, wrong direction. X, I mean. Um, no, it is Y, but we go Y positive. There, and that's exactly what I wanted. So what's going to happen? it's going to draw a boundary around this model and this supports will hold my model in place what i'm going to go ahead what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and add probably 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 or 8 supports around this model and i'll be right back okay all the supports are in and uh, this is where we're at right now um you can see all the places we're supporting the pennant. One at the back, one in the very tip, three on this side, three on that side. Altogether, we have eight supports over here. You can see. I, sp I rotate them and place them to give us a nice even support. Um, this one actually could have been out there. I think I'm just going to move this one out to the side. Um, that'll give us a little better support. And then um <coughs> after that, we'll go on to the next step. Okay, our next step is um, operations. Okay, next step is uh, operation operations. Um, let me lo close that up. Okay, uh, I'm going to use a, a template for this uh, model because it's just a standard double-sided flip. We've got one side, flip it to the other. Okay, 
Okay, <coughs> here we have a toolpath um, program. This is just going to be one program with two flips. So we're going to take you pick this one and we're going to edit it. First, we're going to specify uh, the step over distance for the cutting tools and we'll do 0 0.08 millimeter. Maximum cutoff depth is um, we can do 7, that's fine. Finish stock allowance, um, we can leave it at the 0. And let's get our tool. We use a 5,000 15 degree conical mill bit. I'm going to change that to 300 and I have 8,000 because my uh, machine runs a little faster than that anyway. Um, okay. And um, we are all set. Oh, it, uh, let's see. Step over distance 0.8 maximum depth. We'll keep it at 10. Finish stock allowance. Okay, we're all set on this. And uh, there we can see this is showing my wax thickness. So what I am going to do... Oh, you know what? There's one thing we have to go back and do. And what I missed on this. I have to go back. Let me close this back up. And... Um, let me just keep that okay for now. I am going to go back to my part and move it and center the model. <coughs> I'm going to probably move all my... Um, I want to continue. Yes. I am going to have to go back and uh, redo my... <coughs> uh, and redo my supports. So let me do that and then I will come back and we'll continue with the tool paths. Okay, we are back and what I'm going to do is set my uh, minimum uh, Z to minus 5 and my maximum Z to 5 millimeters. Let's apply that and this will give me my wax thickness. Um, Okay, and there we can see we have a 10 millimeter wax, wax thickness and um, a model is centered right now with a X, Y, and Z. Oh, X, Y, and Z axis. Um, okay, we're not going to use fast roughing. We're just going to keep one cut. Part offset 3.6 millimeter. And that is the distance from the boundary line to, the, um, to our model. We're going to cut all the way to the boundaries, which is the green line. And we apply that, and we OK that, and what we do now is we calculate the toolpath. And it's calculating right now multi-sided flip, two-sided, flip side number one. It's going to take a minute or two for this side, and then it's going to do the other side, and then we will continue and look at the toolpath. Okay, here we have the toolpath showed in, uh, showed it shows in green. Um, you can see, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can see it's running um, in the uh, X direction back and forth, climbing over, cutting our uh, channels, going over the, over the supports. It's all looking very good. Now this is the toolpath for side one. I can hide or show the model. That's only the toolpath and this is with our model. Side two is the other side from the bottom. And let's see what that looks like. Let's tilt it to get a better view. That all looks perfect. And I really like it. So the only thing now, uh, when we're done, we're going to have to cut the hole for the bailing. Um, and I'll just do that by hand. That is really quick. And so this is Proto Wizard. That's calculating the toolpath. After, after this, we'll go over to... Um, to Mark 3 and show you the cam part where we cut it with G-code.